challenging times call for creative thinking the ninth element is on lockdown so I have turned to homesteading can an IKEA china cabinet work as a greenhouse and grow vegetables and herbs let's find out Welcome back to my channel everyone and if you're new please take a moment to touch the subscribe button and if you love this hit the thumbs up. So like I said I am doing some indoor gardening and turning my china cabinet from Ikea into a greenhouse. Yes I took all the dishes out of the top shelves and if you see on the top here the there's a 15 watt halogen light. This really warms the cabinet and I put a towel in there for the tray. Now these are some plants I started 12 days ago and you'll see up here in the video a little bit how much they have grown. I was so surprised that this worked. So I'm treating this situation like a prepper situation because I'm on lockdown, I'm at home, I'm bored like all of you and I'm kind of concerned about the food chain so I thought I would take matters into my own hands and do some veggie starts. Got some cucumbers in here and tarragon and some parsley and this one's my prized one well Smurfy's my prize too but look at this basil 12 days old so great a china cabinet so these are those starts from 12 days ago look at how big they are a variety of tomato plants here and look right there that is a cucumber two days old cucumber sprouts really quick so I want to get these tomato starts out of these pots and into bigger pots and uh, take care of them and how they're leggy so I'm not leaving the house I'm staying safe yep I am going to use beer pong cups to transplant the plants out into. It's the same as a plastic plant pot. There's some other seeds we're going to plant later. And I got out one of my Crisco candles. Check my video out on the 72 day candle emergency heat and light. Those things are awesome. They work good. That candle will burn for 36 hours. So let's head on outside here and make up some soil to transplant these into. Very simple process. I have emptied out a bunch of other containers from around my yard that I'm not growing food or flowers in right now. Food is more important at this point over flowers. I am going through the soil and I'm removing any roots, sticks or stones and big debris. And then I will fertilize it with some fertilizer and I'll show you that mixture in a little bit. So putting some soil into the cup. Don't worry about the herbs and the or the herbs, the roots and the stones and the sticks. I'm going to show you an easy little trick in a minute on how to remove those. Here's those seed planters. So again, you want to remove stones and sticks from the dirt. Grab a chopstick stir the soil make it nice and fluffy and you'll be able to pick out the big debris from there as well getting these ready for the tomato starts all right here is the fertilizer alaska fish fertilizer been using it for years great for indoor and outdoor plants this gallon jug will go forever i am making my mixtures in an old white vinegar gallon jug it's easy way to measure because you need one capful for one gallon. So there's the capful. Make no mistake, folks, this stuff stinks. My cat loves it. I'm going to fill this up, shake it up, and then I'll be using it to fertilize all my starts. And I think I'm going to give my house plants some food today. Boy, they sure are happy. All right, next little planting hack is these old egg cartons. The paper cartons are really good, so I'm going to plant carrots and beets. Yes, two vegetables that you're really not supposed to start from seed, but these are 
challenging times, maybe emergency, maybe not, but I'm using the paper carton because see how flexible that is? As I water the starts, that is going to break down really, really quick. The cardboard will definitely break down as it gets soggy, which then makes it really easy to transplant these starts. The carrots will just punch through the cardboard eventually and the beets the same. So when I do plant them in the ground, they'll just carry on really quick. I'm hoping they're not going to have to be in here for more than six weeks. So there's the little carrot seeds. We'll get those planted out and I will cover them up after I plant the beet seeds. And you'll see why. those out. Okay, now we're on to the beet seeds. I'm just going to put three per pod for space. And once I get these here in the soil, I will be able to rake the soil from that side over onto the other side of the egg carton to cover up the carrot seeds. Now this is a really fun project to do with kids because they will get to babysit something while they're out of school right now, as well as learn how to grow their own food. Don't you ever remember doing this when you were in elementary school? I loved it. Okay, so there are the tomato plants. Now you see how I've planted them so far down in the soil? This will help them from being leggy. There's that basil. What a wonderful greenhouse. 70 degrees at almost 80% humidity. Perfect greenhouse conditions. Gotta love Ikea. Not just furniture, folks. Okay, so potatoes, when they sprout, don't eat them, but don't throw them in the garbage. You can put them outside in the garden and they will grow you more potatoes. That's essentially a seed. That's what a potato is. I have a place outside my front door where I can just toss the potatoes in and as I mow my lawn, I throw grass clippings and more fertilizer in there, which is the kind of conditions that they love. And I am getting so many potatoes from it. So try it. Homesteading at its best, people. Now let's just do a little update on the Meyer lemon tree. Now if you watched my last video, the Ninth Element Micro Camper Build, the Take Two, you'll see the update on this tree. Look at the little lemon! I am going to get so many lemons off this tree in the winter. So let's take a little look outside. We could be the healing When you're feeling all alone We could be the reason To find the strength to carry on In a world that's so divided we shall overcome We could be the healing We could be the flower in the gun We could be the healing We can be the flower in the gun What a wonderful message. So these are the lettuce starts in the vegetable garden. I have three or four kinds of lettuce. I have peas, kale, celery, and in between all of that I have carrots and beets. Those ones are going to take a while. So guys, even if you don't do seeds, grab live herbs. They smell great. They taste great. They have so many healing properties. I'm a big advocate for herbs. And when they're right there, you'll always be tempted to cut them and use them. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay tuned for next time. I actually am going to leave the house and go up into the woods. I know it's not town, but I'm taking you with me. Take care and see you out there.